Let's see if we can check out this bedding. Pretty evil. Okay. That's the intro. Now I'm going to set up to pick the bloody thing. Okay, so I gave up on the pan of ice. Make sure I'm still in frame. Okay. These keys here remind me where a frame is. Gave up on the pan of ice because just not getting the feedback I need. So, that's not bad. This keyway, the wards are very pointy. There are a lot of them, and they just crisscross all over the damn place. When you hear a noise like that, you don't know whether it's the pin setting, necessarily the pin setting, or your pick just flying off of something under its own spring tension and bouncing into something else. I would love to have some security pins, to be honest. I think it would be easier. Because at least you'd then have a false set at some point. You knew that you were you'd know that you were getting there. And a false set somehow seems to protect the pick that you've got so far. and lets you know that you can modulate pressure a little bit and not have to worry too much about dropping anything. Didn't understand why people were so on about false sets. It's like, dude, you've got a... The lock is telling you that it's picked, but it's not. It's kind of bad. Then you pick for a few more months and you realize, hey, wait a minute. It's a lot telling me a whole lot more. This lock is not giving up its secrets without a fight. Not at all. There it is, finally picked up and, oh God, and I got it on frame, Jesus. Okay, so this is an Eva, in the title shot, you may remember the box. There's the box, let's go back on, on the camera so we can do a better job of filming. There it is, picked open. Could not do it in the pan of ice, did get it by hand. Let's see the word Eva down there. Okay. It says eight. Well, who the fuck cares? Something on that side. Don't know the model number. Bought it off of eBay from, I believe, someone in Germany or Austria. These are amazing locks. Reset. And just to show you that it does work with the key. And there's the key. I want to really get a good shot of this bloody key because this thing has been driving me nuts. Okay, do you see all those ridges? Do you see how the tips of some of those things, like there's just barely any material there? See that? See the warding? 
so the lighting's better here. If you can see all the bloody warding in there, it's ridiculous. Talk about paracentric key lock. Oops. Okay. Lock, key, key and lock. Okay, fail. Key and lock. Lock operates with key. Okay. No fancy, no funny business. And locked up. Thank you for watching. I apologize. This has been an Eva Euro cylinder, very badly picked by a fat American. And um, in case you're wondering, that is what's left of the pick I was using. And I believe I was using one of these uh, fancy Peterson pry bars. This thing is just torn up, but it worked. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep it legal. Good night.